Hey guys, this is Mark with Dragon 7 Drone Tech. Thanks for stopping in today. If you're a Skydio 2 owner and you wanted to know if the new beacon for the Skydio 2 Plus will work better than the original beacon, then I'll be answering just that question in this short video. Okay, so we're going to run two different tests, one with the Skydio 2 and the original Skydio 2 beacon, and then the Skydio 2 with the new Skydio 2 Plus beacon. So I'm going to be doing a droney at 300 feet max altitude and distance and see which one has better reception based on what we could see on the phone app and also any kind of signal cues from the beacon. Switching to droney. Settings all the same. Looks good. Select object, subject, show. One hundred. Pixelation one fifty. Two hundred. 250, 300. Okay, no disconnect, no weak signal. Lost subject. Oh wow, let's stop the droney. Interesting. Okay, let's go back. We're going to do this again. Beacon disconnected. Okay, I am connected because I'm controlling the drone right now. Making it fly toward me. Going down in altitude now. Stop about there. Continue flying in. Oh, beacon disconnected. Okay, went down the ridge a little bit, but I was still in line of sight. Okay. Here we Went all the way without a degradation in the video feed. Impressive. Returning. Alright guys, so it's pretty clear now that the Skydio 2 Plus Beacon does work significantly better with respect to connectivity between the Skydio 2 drone using the Skydio 2 Plus Beacon. So, I think Skydio might hate me for saying this, but if you primarily use the Beacon, then you probably only need to buy the Beacon Plus to improve connectivity with the Skydio versus buying the Skydio 2 Plus drone. Okay guys, so I do have more videos coming up with the Skydio 2 Plus, comparing it against the Skydio 2 and many other tests. So go ahead and subscribe if you like. And as always, happy flying.